Normally we laugh uh, at April 1st because it's April Fool's Day, but for 10 AEW superstars or wrestlers today, it was a bit of a sad day because all of a sudden we just have 10 releases out of nowhere. This is a little uh, strange from AEW, not seen ever before. Brian, we're talking about The Boys, so that's two. Uh, the Boys yeah. are associated with the Mr. Peacock himself, not the mm -hmm. network, but Dalton Castle. And then we have Dasha, and she used to work at the WWE, came to AEW. She's actually pretty well known from what I understand. Uh, she was a ring announcer, right? Or yeah. a backstage interview? Okay, mm -hmm. ring announcer. And then we have Jose, the assistant. Uh, he assisted, I believe, uh, Penta Azura M for a long while. And then we have uh, people that I don't know too much, which is Jora Joel, Anthony Henry. We got Gravity, which is a wrestler from Mexico, from what I know. They Stu Grayson. Yeah, they were. He had like crazy matches, maybe yeah. even against Jericho. So to see him get released all of a sudden is kind of wild to me. Stu gets released for the second time. And Parker Bordeaux. Do you know this person? I just want to get your comments. Do you know Parker um, Bordeaux? Apparently, they said that he was supposed to be the next Brock Lesnar. That's <laughs> that's what I that's what I originally heard. Yeah, yeah. He like some people might call him Brock Lesnar at home, but I don't even know if he qualifies for that. Yep. We'll just say one of the greatest runs of all time. People who know, they already know. And that last one, number ten, is Slim J, another person that I'm not familiar with. But Brian, looking at this list right now, you know what? Like, what are the feelings? What thoughts are going through your head? Ten releases. So I'll be honest, man. You know, I'm not really too familiar with the indie scene and some of the wrestlers that AEW were signing. Mm -hmm. uh, the only cool incidents, and it's the elephant in the room, was the Punk interview earlier this yeah. afternoon, and it was Punk basically calling them not a real business. They're not there to make money. They're not there to, to do this. And obviously, you take that with a grain of salt. Everybody has their own opinions. Yeah. We're not here to, you know, influence you into thinking. Think whatever you want. Now, it's very strange that on literally the same day as all this happened, Tony Khan decided to, all right, let's go ahead and make some cuts. True, uh, yeah. And uh, there was even a wrestler. I can't remember his name. I'll, I'll find it and I'll tell you later in the video. Um, he got released while injured. Um, can't wrestle, can't do nothing, has a broken jaw. Um, that's a little nuts, in my opinion, uh, that he was released because I've never really seen, I've seen wrestlers get released, but I don't think I've seen them get released while they literally can't physically wrestle. Like, I think the least you can do as a company is kind of, you know, hold their job, you know, at least pay the expenses, whatever's going on, and then yeah. call it a day and move on if you want to move on from the wrestler. But very interesting stuff. And then Dasha, she was an announcer. She was actually a big business. Um and she's usually pretty much at all the shows. Very surprising as well that she was all cut. Of a sudden. Yeah. So yeah, like very out of the blue. I mean, there must be a reason for all of this, but I don't I don't know if we know. Kara, do we know any if there's any particular reason or they're just letting us know who's getting released. For now, two things. We don't know the exact reason. Perhaps we may never do so. And it's just been an hour since these news have been right. published. So it's potentially when we wake up next morning, we might see another five names, 10 names, 20 names for all we know. But I guess I saw a lot of people saying that this is happening because of CM Punk or could be happening because of right. CM Punk. And when you talked about it, I guess now it kind of settled in for me. Maybe Tony, after hearing that this is not a business anymore, said, all right, you know what? I'm going to be a businessman now. I'm going to put my you know, foot down. I'm going to make some changes around here. And I don't know, because like I can understand some people getting, uh, you know, uh, leaving the company, getting fired. Maybe Dasha, she just didn't want to, you know, continue with whatever she's doing anymore, because I don't think she's going to have any heat with anybody in the right, backstage. Right, 100 percent. Uh, same with Jose, the assistant. He was a manager, you know, like how much, uh, you know, like uh, trouble are you going to cause? Uh, but some people I understand. Stu Grayson, for example, he wanted his release anyways, and he got right. released because of that. He came back, uh, hoped things would be different, really just maybe even in a worse situation the second time around. And I'm sure he asked for his release too. He was happy to get out of there. Parker Bordeaux, you know, some of these wrestlers that I know, Parker especially, uh, he's, oh my God, he, Shockmaster levels yeah. of uh, awesomeness. So that's he, why he was released. Like, uh, no disrespect to anybody here, but we don't see any big names here. Like, and we don't see anyone that would really affect the bottom line of, uh, line oh, of yeah. Yeah. AW, yeah. not, not, yeah. 100%. I, the wrestler that I was referring to earlier was Anthony Henry. So 
Um, okay. It seems he was released and he's actually injured. He can't do anything right now. So that's surprising to see them go that route. Um, I really don't want to think that it was Punk who made them do this or force Tony. I, like, I don't think it had anything to do with that. I don't want to think it does either. Just a really big coincidence, in my opinion, because, dude, you start cutting people's jobs just because your former top star just went in like kind of nuts, you know, so I, I wouldn't be surprised. I with everything that Tony Han, that Tony Khan has done up until this point, looking at his past behavior, I could totally see this happening. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the reason. Oh, my goodness. Like uh, what Siap Punk said today on that on that uh, interview is a very telling and it's basically confirmed a lot of the things we already thought that we knew um he just confirmed it and so tony man like he's just running this as a wwe universe mode maybe he doesn't care he just i have infinite money i can do whatever and yeah this is rough i like especially for aw cutting someone who's injured i i was not expecting wwe maybe but aew this is unprecedented territory i do wonder what's going on man but yeah tony khan laying down the law for some reason yeah, it's very interesting, man. Like, this is the first time they've actually cut people as well. Like, it's 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 unheard of. So I don't know what direction AEW is going in, but um, if it means the product is going to get better, if it means that they're going to start making smarter decisions because there is a lot of wrestlers signed to the AEW roster who you do not see on TV. They need to definitely relax on some <laughs> people for sure. Dan, before we get out of here, I got final a final question. Just think about some wrestlers that you think might be also on the way of getting caught. Like, uh, do you think anyone's in hot water or anyone's like ready to go from the AEW roster? Mm -hmm. That I, I don't know if there's anybody ready. I mean, uh, Alistair Black or Malachi Black. I don't. You know, that's He's one probably guy, going. That's yeah. one guy that does ring a bell in my head but there it seems like they just started a storyline with him uh an edge on saturday i was watching collision right and uh had nothing to do on my saturday night but um he came out uh and it was him and edge it seems like him and edge are gonna have some sort of little robbery or whatever i'm glad they're finally giving him his little singles run that he's been desperately asking for so i don't know if he'll go um i do i don't see him re-signing though but that's one guy that comes off right off the top of my head for sure well alistair black is one then let's uh, go with buddy matthews Rhea ripley's boyfriend mm -hmm. yeah. why doesn't he go to the wwe didn't but triple h i'm sure would welcome him with open arms and um uh, maybe jack perry that's one of the names that i was thinking about because of the, all the hot water now you might argue that it makes sense or not but i mean look at him he's not been on tv for so long we yeah. just had the rumors of him not being able to even reach Tony Khan like uh, at all. Like he called him multiple times. There's I'm always he some... get cut today. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, Ricky Stars might be just you know leaving, waiting for his contract to run out. Uh, um, Sammy Guevara, with all the trouble he yeah. also has been causing backstage, I can see him <laughs> getting out of there as well. And yeah. then uh, again, no disrespect. Some of the names here are not crazy. Uh, let's yeah. say low carders, low, low carders. The Blade with the Butcher. Butcher has been appearing for the past couple of weeks on TV by himself. Mm -hmm. But the Blade is nowhere to be seen. And, you know, we got people like uh, Sarpentico who's been in the company forever, but they're not really doing much. So women's division, I'm sure there are some names we can come up with too. Uh, this, is, this is, yeah, a first. And I'm interested to see, like you said, if Tony is going to take the product into a better direction. From what I've seen so far, I don't believe it. I don't believe Tony is just going to have this overnight character change. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like, if this is a reaction to what CM Punk said anyways, this, this company is even more cooked than I thought. Because, oh my God, if you're going to react to something like this, yeah. in this manner, I don't even know what to say to you, man. Do you have any final yeah. thoughts, Ryan? No, no final thoughts for me. Um, hopefully those wrestlers find jobs and find new homes because I know that it, it's tough losing your job so hey man i wish them the best of luck there you go yeah processing is hot right now i'm sure i'm sure they'll find something to do with that being said ladies and gentlemen we're getting out of here oh check out our discord down in the description you can make sure you, you can join us that. and make sure you like yeah. and subscribe as well and comment if you guys didn't enjoy we
We're going to catch y'all.